Okay, welcome. In this mini webinar, we're going to talk about how to match up people between Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree. Now, matching up is critical because it's the first step towards doing anything uh, with Family Search Family Tree. Basically, matching up is where you identify a person in your file, say John Smith and you find that very same John Smith in Family Search Family Tree and you tell Roots Magic that they are the same person and once that match is made then Roots Magic is then able to share data uh, check for updates read discussions um, and uh, other features in the future so uh, let's see how this works first of all you'll notice that each little tree next to each name is gray now, if you don't have those gray icons, look at the uh, other webinar on getting started with Family Search Family Tree, and uh, we'll talk. We show you there how to turn those trees on if you don't have them. But if you see a gray tree, that means that that person is not matched up with Family Search Family Tree, and that's a problem because you can't do anything fun unless that person is matched up. So how do we match them up? Well, all you need to do is click on the tree. And let me just shrink this down so you can see the size. Now, it's going to ask to sign in to uh, Family Search Family Tree. So I'm just going to give it my uh, password, username and password. And if you do not have a Family Search account, you can just click on this button to create a new account. It'll take you to the Family Search website where you can create a new uh, username and password for yourself. So I'll click Sign In. And it shows me my Roots Magic person here. And now it says Looking for Possible Matches. It's uh, gone looking in Family Search Family Tree and it has found this one possible match. I can look at the colors and see how well this match compares to my own person. Green tells me that this is an exact or almost exact match. Yellow means that it's close and red means that it's pretty different. And so almost just looking at the colors I can see uh, how well this person matches my own. I'm pretty confident that this John Rostrum Booth is the same person as this John Rostrum Booth my file. If I want to, I can click on this little I button and uh, forgive me, I need to just shrink this down and it will give me a side-by-side -side comparison in more detail about the two. But if I'm confident that's my John Rostrum Booth, I will just uh, click this little box next to it and they'll say match with family search. Do you want to match your roots magic person with this person on family search? I'll say yes. And then once it's matched, it's looking for uh, additional possible matches if there are any duplicates in the file. <clears throat> and it looks like it's found one uh, possible uh, duplicate. But I'm just going to, if I want to, all I have to do is click on this and it'll ask me if I want to merge and match. So it's going to give me the option to merge these two people on Family Search Family Tree. I can click merge and this will give me a side-by-side -side comparison so I can see here are these are two people on Family Search Family Tree and then it gives me a preview of what the merged person will look like after these two people are merged together. So I can choose which piece of information I want to keep from each person. So here's the name. I can choose between John Ross and Booth or just John. I like John Ross and Booth better. Uh, mail, birth date looks better. Um, everything here <clears throat> looks better. Um, and then looking here at the at the relatives, if I want to keep this Samuel Booth and this John Taylor, I would just uh, check them. And then when I'm ready, I just click Merge. I'm not going to merge these two records together because, frankly, I don't really think that these are the same person and that they need to be merged together. But I'm just going to cancel that. 
and I have this person matched up so I'm just going to close and you'll see that magically the tree next to John Ralston Booth changed from gray to blue which means that he is now matched up meaning that I can do fun things with him okay and family search family tree and we'll look at that in a, another video but I want to show you one more thing you could go one by one through all these people clicking on them looking for matches and then uh, finding them matching them up but there's a very uh, handy time-saving feature in Roots Magic called the auto match and you can find this through our family search central dashboard now uh, if you've enabled family search support you'll see the family search icon on your toolbar click on that this will bring up the family search central toolbar it says that I'm logged in and uh, right now it shows me out of how many people are matched up with family search family tree 321 are not matched and only one is well right up here is the button for auto match if I click on auto match and then start auto matching this is going through one at a time looking at the people in my file that are not matched up with family search family tree if it finds a very confident match and uh, it it's very conservative in this regard it it looks at uh, quite a few factors including the information making sure there aren't disagreements as well as the uh, relationships and relatives and so it's auto matching these people together and you'll see in just a few seconds it has done 10 people I can cancel this and these same 11 people now will still be matched up and I could start this process of auto match anytime in the future depending how many people in your file this could take a while and already 22 people matched up I'll just click cancel and ta-da that number just magically went up to 26 out of 296 okay and so that is very quickly how you match up people between roots matching and family search family tree and again that's the critical first step towards doing anything with a person in roots magic and family search family tree